everyone. Blessings in God's favor. Woo -woo. <laughs> so I got my notes on my notebook this time instead of a three by five card, but okay. So this year I said we were taking a journey with our um, Airbnb for 2023. And then I'm also going to do a little financial tip, right? So let's see this week we are, I'm going to talk about being ready. So being how being ready is not a mindset, but it's about positioning. So I'm going to go in a little bit of a detail about that. Okay. And then you guys, for those of you who are not in the group yet, we have a group journey with Terry in 2023 Airbnb. So if you haven't joined that group, um, I think, do we have that? We have that in the, okay. So we do have that when we're sending out these emails where you can click on a link and join the Facebook group. And also, you know, make sure that you go to our YouTube channel and subscribe, which is Terry Collins Proverbs 31 Lifestyle. Okay. So you guys with the Airbnb, oh my goodness. <laughs> so if you're in the group, you've already heard this. If you're not in the group, you're getting this in the message now, but we have made the decision that we are going to pull out of the Airbnb. Um, so, you know, we have a duplex. And one of the things that I do, which I'm going to do a talk on is calculate, assess, you know, take action and then repeat that again. So daily when I'm starting a new project, uh, with finances and actually with anything in life, um, you know, we calculate, we make an assessment, we reassess, reassess, we recalculate. That's how we determine what action we're going to take. Um, and then we repeat that process. So that's not what my talk is about today, but because of that process, that's why we're going to pull out of the Airbnb, um, because of our calculations. And we know that it's not going to be the goal is to produce a profit and it's not going to produce the profit that we originally projected. So because it's not going to pro produce the projected profit, right? That's why we're going to pull out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a little mini course, okay? Let me share this also. For those of you who are already in that group, I'm gonna schedule two or three um, streams, stream, stream yard talks, where we're gonna stream into the group and I'm going to share um, with you some details, but it's gonna be really kind of impossible to share that in like a 30 or an hour um, stream session. If anybody who is on our question answer Zoom sessions would like to join me on that stream, I'm going to invite three to five people. So if you guys are in the question answer session that, and you're interested in joining us on that stream, then let me know. So I'll make sure that we can coordinate that time. Um, and then we'll have that information in the group for everyone because that's what I said this year. I said that we were going to journey along. So because I'm creating a course, I also want to give information that you don't have to pay for. Okay. However, there's actually a lot of details. Um, and there's a lot of financial details that I break down, just like you guys saw that I was breaking down the cost of the furniture. I break down the, how we projected the profit and how we know that the profit isn't correct the way we projected it. Um, and there's a lot of detail for that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a little mini course. That course is going to cost thir only $37, you guys. And what's going to be included in that course is a three question um, answer Zoom session. So for those of you who are paying the $17 to hop on a question answers Zoom session, um, you'll be able to get this course for $37. Normally, a three week session is $51. So you can see the value and the discount that we're offering here to get this information to you, okay? So that's what I wanted to just share with the Airbnb. You guys, when you guys are doing something like that, you wanna make sure that you're projecting your profit for the whole year is what we did. And when we realize now that is not what it's gonna be, um, because you know for a lot of reasons and a lot of details, then we know it's time to really pull out so that we don't start going in the hole. Because the goal when you're always doing anything with finances is to grow a profit and put money in your pocket, okay? All right, so now for my financial tip. Being ready is not a mindset, it's about positioning. So a lot of times, you know, I'm, I'm looking, honestly, I'm looking f to help 50 households earn, position themselves where they're building a strong, sustainable, profitable rental portfolio 
uh, producing about $200,000 a year passive income, okay? So a lot of times I'll get in conversations with people. They're like, I'm so ready, Terry. I'm so ready. But ready, being ready to do something like that isn't a mindset. So just because we're emotionally ready and we're mentally ready, meaning we want it so badly. I want so badly to produce this result. I want so badly to get my first rental, right? Just because we want it so badly and in our mind and our emotions want it so badly doesn't mean we're ready. But we, we say, I'm so ready, but we're not ready. Being ready isn't a mindset. Being ready is about positioning, right? So are you in the position where you can get approved for a loan? Are you in a, the position where you're, you've educated yourself so that when you sit down at the closing table, you know this is like the best, one of the best decisions that you're making for your finances? Have you positioned yourself in a way where you have the team of people around you to help to, like, you know, you guys, we've talked about the team of people, attorneys, lenders, uh, that you want to establish relationships with realtors, your insurance company, right? Your accountant, your CPA, who's going to do your finances. So are you learning about who you're going to have on your team to help position you? So being ready isn't about a mindset, you guys, it's about positioning. Do you have a, a reserve in your bank account? Just like your, we say, separate personal from business. You want to have a personal reserve for an emergency fund. But as you're beginning to build a strong, profitable rental portfolio, you want to have a reserve in, in a business fund for your, for your rental portfolio. And every time I tell my investors, every time we add another property, we're increasing that emergency fund for our rental portfolio, right? Because for any of us who've lived some time where we're responsible for our finances, we know an emergency is going to happen. And so how we debt-proof our life and life-proof our finances is through having a realistic budget, through having uh, the proper amount of reserves, you know, through, um, through, you know, constantly educating yourself and keeping yourself informed with what's going on with the economy and staying ahead of inflation, right? So you guys, so just a, you know, a couple things there. Being ready isn't about what your mind and your emotion says. Being ready is how you've positioned yourself so that you can increase your finances and be successful with building that rental portfolio and you know and like leaving a legacy and generational wealth right so okay you guys so i want to end all of these talks you know with um first of all saying thank you you know i um thank you for the time that you are spending here with me you know because it is my heart's desire to bring understanding and clarity and then I want to remind you that you are meant to be the one. You're meant to be the one to master your finances. And you're meant to be the one to do that thing, whatever that thing is that God is placing on your heart and mind to do. He's placing it on your heart and mind because you're meant to be the one to do it, right? So, okay. As always, from my heart to yours, may God bless your efforts to be physically and financially healthy and strong.